Welcome back. So today I just want to talk about Liza P's New Game Plus. Uh, I've been playing it and it's pretty good. Uh, so before you go into New Game Plus, really the only thing I might suggest is uh, to go and get you uh, uh, any consumables or throwables, you know, stock up on those. But everything else is going to be accessible through the Stargazer that you have. Um, you're going to see an expanded Stargazer. Uh, you know, it's going to allow you to teleport, level up, switch Legion Arms, symbol weapons. You're going to be able to shop for Wish Stones and things like that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, uh, you'll always have access to the Saintess of Mercy statue. So if you're looking to respect, you can easily go ahead and do this at any time, uh, even right at the start of New Game Plus. So you don't have to build back up to Chapter 7 to actually get that ability again. Uh, throwables and consumables are a little different. Those are still limited on the uh, different uh, merchants that you come across. Uh, so you don't get access to the full amount of throwables until you're in Chapter 5 when you get to Malum District. Uh, but, yeah. Um, another interesting thing is that if you've uh, gone through the regular game and helped Vanini with his request for the decipherable uh, things, uh, he gives you the, the little recorders that are supposed to record the information let's say ah yeah yeah the wavelength decoder once you get the completed or go wavelength decoder from cl de completing everything uh, all his assignments that he gives you uh, which really don't have to do anything other than just progress through the game um, but in new game plus when you go through now instead of hearing nothing from the uh uh, people, uh, the puppets that you encounter, the boss puppets, um, you know, it's indecipherable in the first time through. Now you can hear exactly what they're saying. And, you know, it's, it does make it a little different. Um, and another thing that I, I did notice, um, there are new records that are available I mean, these were the ones that I got just through the regular game, these eight here. But then there were these uh, other ones. They're kind of expensive. You can buy them, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking to improve your humanity, they're definitely certainly worth picking up. Uh, and one other thing that I thought I would mention an interesting thing that I've noticed is when you level up once you get to uh, to where it costs 16,000 ergo for a level it then increases one ergo after that so it was 16,000 ergo and then it was 16,001 and 16,002 and 16,003 so yeah it's just it makes leveling up actually pretty easy at that point because I mean you're a new game plus you're just making tons of money I mean ergo off of the, the enemies that you're defeating so but yeah there's that so anyway uh, I did see that the the people that are uh, developing this game also put out a, a statement where they're talking about uh, kind of giving you some reworked freebies on like your Pete organ stuff uh, coming up here in November sometime, so uh, you know, and they're working on the DLC, so you know, definitely some stuff to keep your eyes open for, but yeah, it's definitely interesting to play the game here in New Game Plus and, you know, it seems like there's you know, still gonna be some stuff that's gonna make it more interesting for you to continue on so anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this hope you found it useful uh, talk to you soon, bye for now